Hello everyone! Today we will cook an apricot pie. It's a very delicious, very simple and what's more important, a very fast recipe. See the recipe in the description box. Take butter or margarine, whatever you like. Smash it with a spoon. There is no need to use a mixer here. Add sugar. Rub the butter with sugar until smooth. Beat in three eggs. Eggs and butter should be smashed till you have a homogeneous mass. Add 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Stir it all and add flour. The amount of flour can be different, so look at your dough. It should be smooth and elastic and shouldn't stick to your hands. Stir it all. Take the amount of flour that was mentioned in the recipe. If it's not enough, add some more. Usually it doesn't take less flour. Put the dough on the table and start kneading it with your hands. It should be very soft, but shouldn't stick to your hands. That's the most important thing. Add flour little by little so that the dough is not hard. Knead everything inside. The dough is very soft and doesn't stick to my hands. You can check it on the table without flour. Make the edge very thin and roll it. If it rolls and doesn't stick to the table, then it's ready. Pinch off a small part of it. Put aside this part and cover it with food film. This piece can be kneaded longer, till it gets a bit harder and tighter. This piece is ready. It is soft, but a bit tight. Now this piece. Wrap it in the food film and put it in the fridge for at least 10 minutes. And this piece shouldn't be put in the fridge. Just wrap it and leave on the table. Watch the apricots. Cut them and remove the kernels. Butter the mold, its bottom and the sides, to the very top. Spread the dough as thin as possible. Like so. Remove the rest of the dough. Put the apricots cut down very close to each other. Sprinkle with sugar. When it melts, the apricots will deliver juice and while baking it will turn into a caramel. Put it aside. Take another piece out of the fridge and roll it out. That's it. Make sure that it's not sticky. Now you need a rolling knife with such triangles. Move it several times along the dough, but keep away from the edges. But if you don't have it and you have nowhere to buy it, just cut some stripes out of the dough and place them on top of the pie.
but that stuff is really needed when making pies. Take the dough very carefully. Put it in the middle of the pie and then stretch. Now we need to make the edges. Make very thin stripes of the rest of the dough and form the edges. Remove the rests. Press them a bit. Firstly, you'll have very tasty and crusty edges of golden color. And secondly, it's beautiful. You can top the pie with any pertinence up to you. Preheat the oven to 360 degrees and then put the pie into the oven. Bake it for 25 minutes. Take the pie out of the oven. Let it cool down totally. Sprinkle it with powdered sugar and the pie is ready. Bon appetit! I'm sure you will like it. It's a very simple and fast recipe. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Like and share this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.